Around the United States, there has been a controversy over statues, such as the case in Charlottesville regarding protests over Confederate monuments. Today, a similar debate is unfolding here in Edwardsville over the statue of Ninian Edwards downtown, which involves two solutions, removal or keeping the statue and adding context. We have talked to some members from the community about their thoughts on the debate, and here are their responses. During the summer, um, when there were a number of Black Lives Matter protests, including in Edwardsville, and um, I guess people started looking into this, and so I just got invited to a Facebook group that had formed, and I, I just clicked to see, oh, what is this? And that's when I learned, you know, who was Ninian Edwards, what was his relationship um, to Edwardsville, that our town was named after him, um, what his history was. And so I started getting involved just as a volunteer, you know, joined the Facebook group, was supportive, um, and I was active. And so one of the, the co-leaders of the group at that time asked if I wanted to kind of step up and also be a co-leader with the group. So in June of 2020, um, I started becoming involved in some of the local protests of the murder of George Floyd. And it was during one of those that I became aware that there was a group that was kind of formed in questioning the history of Ninian Edwards. And um, so I, I joined a Facebook group with that originally and just kind of involved myself in some of that dialogue. Probably around um, July, maybe a month after that, uh, they were actively asking for people within the Facebook group to become more active um, in letter writing and attending uh, city council meetings. Um, and so I started doing that. I uh, wrote a letter to my ward representative, um, who is now our mayor-elect of Edwardsville, Art uh, Rizavi, and I had some conversations with him. And then I started attending city council meetings. And um, then it just kind of became uh, the people that were mo most following through with that uh, formed into kind of what stands as our committee right now. With being on city council, um, we had received uh, information from the Our Edwardsville group um, about the Nene and Edwards statue. And um, that's how I became involved, being on city council. Yeah, so our position, right, is that the statue should be relocated to somewhere where it can actually be used to support telling history. So um, again, I mean, you don't necessarily need the statue to do this, but I think that when the city put the statue there, there was no ill intent upon the people who did that, right? It was to create this nice gateway into the community. Um, they made the statue and um, frankly, a lot of, I mean, even, even the, it was the city manager at the time um, has said, Knowing that what I know now, I don't think the statue should be there. And so I think now that we know what we do, um, I think the best option going forward is to move the statue to an educational setting and have context informing people like the website that you're working on about Ninian and Edwards history so that they can learn about it. I, I would like to see it be a learning opportunity. Okay. One of my constituents and I have talked at length and she is of color and she was willing to assist me in setting up meetings at that plaza to discuss racial issues, to discuss things, to make people learn about each other, to decrease the racism. This, and to move the statue would kind of, it, it really didn't have much to do with it. For me personally, um, I, agree that one of the main problems with the statue is that there is just a small plaque there that lists Ninian Edwards um, titles. So in my ideal world, I really feel like an institution like the Madison County Historical Society could be creative in finding a solution for that and create a wonderful kind of um, interactive display where the statue was there within the display, but it wasn't the entire focal point. And I just don't think that that kind of extensive exhibit can be done or should be done in a public space like where it is in City Plaza right now. There's, a, there's several other historical people that are buried in Lusk Park. Uh, most people think it's just a park. It's not, it's a cemetery. And so they're wanting to, to maybe put Nene and Edward's statue in there 
with the history and then some of the history of the others that are buried there. Um, and I, I think that that's okay. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm thinking of the cost. Um, you know, everybody thinks, oh, we can just do anything because it's, it's the city money. Well, no, there's not that much there. I'm on finance committee. We're doing budget right now and we have a little bit of a deficit this year. So we, um, you know, it's, it's going to be coming up with the money too. Certainly think um, Lusk has a less prominent uh, spot than Vendelia Street. However, um, you're right that this is a very immediate thing in discussion and um, the Lusk, uh, the, the housing around Lusk and the people that live there have um, expressed pretty widely majority that they do not want it there. We have to think about everyone's feelings, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. Let's talk about the history, the true history. Let's try to learn more about each other. And if the statue can help us do that, then I think it should stay where it is or be somewhere in the community for people to think about that. But I don't want it completely erased. If we forget, we're bound to repeat all the bad things that they're saying that, you know, was typical of him, which isn't all completely true either, so. History is not just a narrow lens. Um, history requires a full 360 degree view of everyone that's involved then and now. And when you have a uh, symbol like a statue, there is an automatic sense of homage that needs to be paid to that statue. Whether you believe that or not, it's sort of an innate response that we have to statues. But when you have a statue in the middle of it of someone that, as I've said, causes a lot of pain for many people, myself included, um, it, it, it takes away the broader welcoming positive experience that we can have as a community. Our community, our Edwardsville, is one that I hope we all are committed to being one that's inclusive, that's welcoming to everybody in our community. And when the gateway to our community in the heart of our downtown has somebody on a pedestal that you know, has furthered the system of racism, has owned people, has furthered that system, has um, you know, led atrocities against indigenous people, that doesn't send the message of inclusion. And so, um, you know, we, our group is committed to learning our history. Um, having a statue in that plaza on a pedestal isn't about learning our history. And so, you know, we want to relocate this statue to an educational setting, have context around it, and make sure that we have City Plaza be a space that's welcoming to everybody and that, that matches the message that our town is meant to have about inclusion and welcome.